tutorial is for the global energy challenge assignment. This one is optional, so you don't have to do it, but it is a really fun activity to do. The first thing that I want you to look at is the graphs. So there are two graphs. This first graph here is for the world's energy needs. And as you can see, the amount of energy that we need as a global society is increasing each decade. So you're going to have to figure out how to meet that increasing need. At the same time, we need our atmospheric CO2 to stay below this orange line. So that's what you're looking for in this bottom graph. So first things, we are in the year 2010, which was a decade ago, um, but that's cool, we're gonna work from this anyway. So click on this add energy button, and this will show you all of the different things that you can add in terms of energy. Now in the next decade, we're gonna need some more energy as you can see down here. And so I'm gonna need to adjust these sliders in order to create that energy. Now be aware, some of these sources are going to create more CO2 than others. So I might want to say increase the amount of wind or increase the amount of solar energy. But if I do that, I can't quite get to this total energy need. So I'm gonna need to do some more adjusting here. And the thing about this is you don't want to actually make it so that there's more energy created than used. So for example, right now I have met the demand for energy, but I've actually created more energy than I need. So when you do this, you wanna decrease until you get to the exact right amount of energy and that's gonna make it so that you're not creating extra energy. So you can actually decrease this a little bit more. And you can, oops, you can type in if you're trying to get to an exact number. All right, once you've done that, you're gonna click apply and then run decade. So now that I've run this, you can see I've met that demand in the year 2020, and my current CO2 level is at 407 parts per million. So I'm going to add energy again. Now you can see I need to create a little bit more energy than I did before, so I'm gonna adjust some of these sliders. I still need to adjust some more. This time I'm not gonna be as careful because I'm just showing you how this works. I'm gonna click apply. Oh, I didn't meet my need. Now that I've met my need, I can run this decade. I'm gonna click run. You can see I've moved here. I'm still meeting that energy need. And I'm now I'm actually below the expected amount of CO2. So you're gonna run through this until you get all the way to the end if you're able to make it there. So a couple of things will happen um, that might make it so that you can't actually finish this simulation, in which case you would need to reset. If you exhaust some of your resources here and you make it so that you can't actually meet the energy need that you have, then the system will say that you can't go on. Um, it'll also tell you if you pass this orange line. So you have a couple of kind of fail safes here to keep you on track. So just make sure you're going through that. Once you're totally done with this, if you've managed to keep that CO2 level below this 550 parts per million goal, then you're going to take a screenshot and submit that. So what I need you to do is when you take that screenshot, I need you to have your mouse kind of hovering over the dot that tells you exactly what the parts per million is. Um, as you can see on here, I can see that on the graph, but I can't tell exactly what that number is. So it's really helpful if when you're taking that screenshot that you have your mouse over that sign. Okay, so you're gonna submit that to Canvas and then we'll be able to give you a grade for it and some extra points if you were able to keep that CO2 level low while still meeting the global energy need.